here, buddy. So I think it's pretty safe to say that 2023 has not been the best year for Linus Tech Tips or Linus Media Group. So earlier this year, um, there was a bit of controversy over LTT over an employee or a former employee who posted on Reddit um, disclosing about um, a policy to where they prohibit LTT employees from discussing and sharing their wages. So I actually talked about this a bit in our previous video, which I'll go ahead and put a card for up here. But the next big thing that's been going on uh, with LTT here lately is, of course, it seems that as of lately they've been making a lot more errors with their editing and also making mistakes um, with some of the things that they review. For example, um, reviewing a GPU cooling block from Billet Labs on the wrong GPU and then auctioning off that said block um, without the permission of Billet Labs. Yeah. It, that was that was pretty pretty bad. Now let me be clear here. I'm not a, I'm not against LTT or LMG by any means. I think they're a wonderful asset to the computer tech enthusiast community. And of course, they've done a lot of hard work over the years with reviewing products and things like that. Um, but of course, I'm not going to go into full detail about the the current controversy that's going on. But I'll put a link to a video from Gamers Nexus talking about this whole thing. Um, chances are, if you've watched my videos, you probably may have heard of LTT or Linus Tech Tips or any of his YouTube channels, such as Tech Quickie, among others. Matter of fact, many years ago, a, uh, my most popular YouTube video, Cooking with Intel Episode 1, was featured in a Tech Quickie video. Now, let me be clear I'm not against LTT by any means, as I said earlier. But sometimes you just have to wonder if the whole LTT slash LMG organization has simply gotten too big. Because you think about it, when you look at YouTube channels in general, um, most YouTube channels, particularly I'm talking about YouTube channels that are in the partner program, um, that are actually making money off of YouTube. A lot of these channels are either side gigs, they make, a, they make money on the side outside of a regular job, that would apply to me for example, um, and some actually are lucky enough to do this full time provided they get enough views and they get enough subscribers and they are hit with YouTube's invalid traffic bug or glitch yeah that's a whole different subject but um, many channels out there you think about it they're not based out of a humongous office space they don't have dozens or hundreds of employees they're not a giant media organization now this is not talking about companies that already existed and just have a YouTube channel like for example I don't know CBS News or whatever for example or A&E or I don't know you get the idea so I'm talking specifically about somebody who starts a YouTube channel and basically they are running the YouTube channel as their sole business they're not running it on top of an existing business but you look back at uh, Linus Tech Tips, if you go to his channel and you go to sort by oldest and look at his oldest videos, LTT actually started out very similar to how this channel started out. The videos were very basic, none of the extra editing, all that stuff. Now, of course, my channel, there is some editing, but it's not like overboard. You look back at LTT how it was years ago. It was like a YouTube channel. Nowadays, it's more like a multimedia organization that has a YouTube channel. They have, they have many employees that are tasked with shooting, editing, all that good stuff. And it seems that in recent years in particular, they've gotten so, I guess... I'm not going to say infatuated, they were just, they gotten so obsessed with getting a set number of videos out per week to the point where it's, okay, it's more important to get the videos out, and in recent months in particular, um, LTT has come under fire for significant errors in their reviews, in their editing, stuff like that. Now let's face it, 
editing errors are going to happen, no matter whether it's a small channel or a big channel. These things will happen, and the amount of editing that goes into LTT uploads, particularly uploads that are reviewing a product, there's lots of research and lots of testing, lots of retakes that go on to make something like that. And I was reading online about this and reading stories from employees, former and I think also current, talking about the demands that are placed on them. You know, go, 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 get these videos out. And it's to the point where you know, the work environment is, get, is getting, it's getting super stressed. Um, employees are experiencing burnout. And as a result, some videos are experiencing more errors than others. And again, the whole errors in videos is one thing, but when you make mistakes with products that are sent to you for review by a company, for example, with Bill Labs with the GPU block, reviewed it on the wrong GPU, and then by mistake, they auctioned it off instead of returning it back to Billet Labs. They wanted it back, but instead the um, the company auctioned it off by mistake. So, yeah, um, it's it's bad enough that recently um, Linus himself stepped down as CEO of the company. Now, Linus is obviously still a big part of the company. I think his current title is Chief Visual Officer or something like that. But, yes, he stepped down. And, of course, with the recent controversy that has been going on, LTT actually paused their video production for, I think, a week. So, yeah, I'm going from posting many videos to many different channels. I mean, it's not just LTT itself anymore. There's a whole lot of different channels that Linus Media Group actually operates. Going from that to making nothing for a week, that's pretty significant in a way. But, again, it's it's almost to the point where it's like, has the company simply gotten too large? Has the channel got, simply gotten too big? Has the channel reached its peak? Is it going into decline? I certainly hope not, but... I mean, again, these are just my opinions. Um, like I say, I, as I've said earlier, not over repeat myself. I don't have anything against LTT by any means, and, and hopefully they get through this whole thing um, on good terms. So, anyways, again, just my opinions. Please don't kill me in the comments section, but feel free to leave your opinions in the comments if you like. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.